I just wanted to get on here, Facebook, YouTube, everybody. This is going out to all of y'all because I want y'all to know that some of you guys are about to get real mad. You know, the more I think about it, it just blows my mind how much better things are just in Canada. Their streets are not riddled with crime the way they are here in the States. They've got medical plans set up for their people. You know, everything that I'm going through with brain cancer right now, and you want to know what the state of Texas told me today, and my wife was on the other line listening. They told me, you know, because I, I, I am, I, I had medical insurance. It ran out. We got everything set up. We're just waiting for that to get approved. Once that gets approved and they do their job and get, up, get all the paperwork, you know, squared away and all that, then I can get with my surgeon and schedule this next brain surgery that I need to have. But we talked to them about Medicaid, you know, other options, and they said to us, there's no such thing as emergency Medicaid. Only, only if you are an illegal, not from this country, and you're pregnant, can you get emergency Medicaid. So I said to the lady, you can imagine those of you who know me, so if I was pregnant and not from this country, I'd be in good shape. But since I'm from this country, nothing can be done. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Whatever. So I think it's time. I don't know, man. It just it, it blows my mind how much better things are just right above us in Canada. So they got their stuff together. So, um, I don't know. It's just crazy. You know, you want to be proud to be an American, but the way that things are going right now with all the division, Democrat, Republican, it's, it's like they want us to rip each other apart. You know, um, they're trying to build a civil war is, is what they're trying to do. They're trying to rip the economy apart. You know, it, it, it's just, I don't know. It's all about their agenda. Quite frankly, they've got an agenda. They're going to put in office who they want in office. They want everybody to believe that their vote matters and their vote counts, and maybe it does, but in the end, they're going to have it their way. That's the way it's always been. That's the way it'll always be. There's an agenda that is above you and above me and above the American people, and they're going to have it their way, and that's the way it's always been, in my opinion. So, yeah, you got a voice, let your voice be heard, say what you got to say, whether somebody listens or not. If you got an opinion, speak that opinion. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't speak your mind. And I'm speaking my mind right here and right now. I'm just a little bit pissed off. But I will have this second surgery. This medical will be up and running soon. As you can see, there ain't nothing wrong with my speech. And my mind is working pretty good, too. So... You know, uh, I believe in the big man upstairs and he's got me and, you know, uh, I'm fighting every day and I'm going to continue to fight because that's all I know and that's me and I'm going to push and I'm going to push and I'm going to fight and I'm going to fight and I will do everything that I can to stay on this earth as long as possible uh, because I still got things that I want to do and accomplish and seeing my kids grow up is one of them. So, um, you know, it's just a shame, man. It really is. But, uh, as you can see, I'm talking fine. I'm doing all right. So it, it's just unbelievable. You can't have emergency Medicaid unless you're not from this country and pregnant and, and then you can. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, it's just crazy, but <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know that. So, um, just crazy, 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 crazy. Continue to pray for me. I appreciate all your thoughts, your prayers, your concerns. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate you uh, just staying in my corner and uh, battling and, and fighting this thing with me, and uh, I believe I'm going to make it. So you guys take it easy. Have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, and uh, be blessed.